test we're going to go over right now is the free chlorine test using the yellow bottles. This is going to indicate to us how much chlorine, active chlorine, we have in the water. To do that test, there are hash marks on the side of the bottle. There's a 10 milliliter hash mark, and that is what we're going to fill up to in order to get our sample for the chlorine, uh, free chlorine reading. The instructions and, and everything that I'm going over are listed step by step in the yellow section. So the first thing we do is take a sample of water from the sample cell. I always rinse out the jar first and then take the second sample. We're looking for 10 milliliters. There we go. And then what we're going to do we're taking our vial of our DPD powder. That is the indicator that tells us if there's chlorine in the water. And we take a heaping scoop of it, and you pour it in the sample, and if there's chlorine, it'll take a tint of pink. Now that we see that there's pink or chlorine in there, we need to know how much. So we take the, deep, the FAS DPD titrating reagent, brown bottle, and we add one drop is one half part per million. So two drops is one part per million. So it, it records it, 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 it uh, turns at half a part at a time. Take one drop, add it in, and we're waiting for it to turn clear. It went from uh, pink to clear in one drop, so we have, we're reading right now in the sample jar at a half part per million of chlorine. That's how much free chlorine we have going into the water. Now, we don't want to ever see, there's a range that we look for, and that is open to debate on how strong you want the chlorine. Some people like to see the chlorine at two parts per million, one part per million, five parts per million. It's all based on personal choice. Um, I'm, so, so, but, but in that range, we always have to have some chlorine. So if we're at the half part per million, all the way up to the nine and a half or 10 parts per million, we're still ex at an acceptable range to, to, to at least get chlorine there. However, if we're at zero, then we don't have any chlorine and we're not doing any sanitizing of the water from a safety standpoint. If you're, at, if you're higher than 10 parts per million, it's strong enough where it's going to start to irritate your baby's eyes. It's going to start to potentially discolor their bathing suits. And we don't want it to be that high 